So how do you hear from God then? That's what we're going to talk about on today's 5-Minute Focus. Welcome everybody to today's Focus. Uh, it's a great one. I love it. I love mm -hmm. last week. Hope you watched last week. And this week is the balance to that. And yep. God does speak to us. And we're glad oh, definitely. God speaks to us. And I want to start this video off by saying congratulations now. Oh, thanks. Lead pastor of Access Church. Yep. Uh, and I mean that. Congratulations. Thank you. You, uh, you have a lot, uh, a big job ahead of you. <laughs> Maybe Jesus is coming back and, soon and it's not that big. <laughs> uh, no. And you're going to do well at it. Uh, but that is a great question. How does God speak to us? Uh, and I just want to establish this before we go over that Jesus was very clear that God speaks to us through his Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we have been given the Holy Spirit today. That's why I don't believe that prophets are as important as they were in the Old Testament, God speaking through one person. We have the Holy Spirit's been poured out. we got out a direct us. line now. Direct <laughs> line. Jesus opened up the door. The Holy Spirit is the one who speaks to us. So all of this is through the Holy Spirit. But mm -hmm. uh, why don't you start off with the first one, how God speaks to our lives to guide us yeah, in our lives. Right. Uh, I think the first one and probably the easiest for any of us is simply through his word, the Bible. It's it's written for our benefit, for our good, so that we can know his character, what God's will is, uh, what his character is like, all those different things, and to give us direction as well. So mm -hmm. definitely reading the Bible often is and, a primary uh, way. We've talked about this a lot. And I know I've heard you mention it before, too, that uh, you know, before you read the Bible, you know, just pray, God, what is mm -hmm. it you want? What is it that you want to communicate to me yeah. as I read this? I mean, I know it's a historical. I know the letter was written somewhere, but what do you want to communicate to me yep. through reading this? And, and the Holy Spirit does that. And I think definitely when it comes to reading the Bible, it's quality, not quantity. Yes. That's, you know, I, I'm not as big of a fan of let's read it in it, you know, the whole Bible in a year. Let's make sure and do a chapter every time. Better to read one verse and allow God to speak to you than a whole chapter and cross it off your to-do list. I totally agree with that. That is absolutely true. So uh, another thing that I think that we can, all of us can really hear God's voice in, and I, I experience it often and I love it is through worship. Mm-hmm. Because it's somehow, I know somebody else wrote the words to that song, but I believe most of them are inspired by the Holy Spirit as well. Yep. But there's something about that medium of music and uh, the Holy Spirit. I think I think the reason it's powerful is because we're more open. We're more relaxed during worship. Yeah. Not, like, not like music is magical. <laughs> but music has a way of opening up our hearts and the words. The Holy Spirit can speak to us reveal to us mm -hmm. God's love. We know God's love, but during worship yep. we can experience God's love. And I believe that God can direct our lives through worship. That's why it's so important for a Christian person to worship. Oh, definitely. To worship because God can guide our lives. I don't know how many times that I've been thinking about something and then during worship, it's like that song <laughs> answers it uh, exactly. I've sung that song a hundred times. A hundred times. But but right now, for this situation, the Holy Spirit uses that song to confirm yes. And, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, so that's really powerful. Definitely. And the final way that any of us can be more in tune with God and hear him speak to our lives is to just surround yourselves with other people who are following Jesus and want to be close to God themselves. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to be really hard for any of us to hear from God if we isolate ourselves from other people. Christians. Uh, we don't know. Last week you we talked about was it was at pizza, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's the benefit of being around other Christian people mm -hmm. is that they can help discern whether that was just pizza or not, you know? <laughs> and it's great counselor, you know, and it's, it's just God's kind of one of his principles that wisdom comes in a multitude of counselors. And yeah. as we're around other people, I don't know how many times in my life that, you know, other people have been able to help discern what I think God's telling me. Mm -hmm. And God's speaking through other people for that. And it's powerful. As a matter of fact, I would recommend that last one, that if you feel God speaking to you, having other people around to yep. help guide that is so beneficial. Yep. That's why uh, coming together for regular services is important. Mm -hmm. That's why small groups are so important. That's why having a few close friends that you can really trust who are heading the same direction spiritually yeah. is so important. Not not only just to, you said, discern, 
But I also thought to confirm, yes. there've been a lot of times where, oh, yeah. man, is this really? And somebody else comes along yeah. and says something out of the blue or ask a question, whatever, mm-hmm. is comforting to know, okay, mm-hmm. This is right. This yeah. is God. So, and there, there's a lot more about this topic, but uh, I yeah. think it's five uh, minutes. <laughs> hey, last week is really just a, a good thing for all of us to hang on to of what might not be the you know God speaking, and these things are just so practical to how mm-hmm. God really does speak to us regularly, normally in our lives. Yep. So spend time with God this week. Allow the Holy Spirit to connect you with your heavenly Father, and uh, do those three things. Mm-hmm.